Thank you so much, everyone, for attending our event this month. And our guest speaker is Don Loading. She is a published author, and she is also a real estate advisor, and she puts her time and effort into helping agents be able to create a flourishing business. Now, I will tell you that um, in the past 20 years, as she's been in real estate, she, just like any other agent, she's had her struggles, she's had things going on with her family. But in the past five years, she's been able to really run her business based on automation and funnels. So get ready to take some notes. We're gonna dive in right now. Thank you again, Don, so much for being on here with us today. We're going to just start with this free workshop because I think a lot of you could just go do this on your own if you focus on it. And if you set your intention to get these systems set up, then this will be a great, a great um, system for you to work in because, you know, what we what we focus on and what we set our intentions to be if you put that out there, you're more likely to wake up and get it done. And we're going to start with that here in a second. But even Tony Robbins, my favorite guy, what we focus on determines how we feel and how we feel our state of mind powerfully influence our, our actions and our interactions. So, so true. So whether you think you can or think you can't, you are correct. But I'm telling you, if you will do this business and set your business up like I'm going to share with you and you work on these areas, then it, it will work for you no matter who you are, because there is enough business in this business for everybody. So my framework is set up with four pillars. The four pillars are mindset, foundations, automations, and funnels. And so we're going to go into each one of those areas today. The first one, and always the first, should be the first. This is what you work on when you first wake up in the morning, your mindset and your daily routine. Planning is everything. I do everything according to the book, The 12-Week Year. The 12-Week Year is really a system for implementing. It helps you break things down from your big vision, your larger vision of where you want your business to be into smaller chunks that you're able to go out and get done over a 12 week time period. And so every 12 weeks, I usually take a week or two off and then I start on a new 12 week journey. And that journey is broke down by whatever I have going on for the year. So I set like a yearly vision and then I break it down into about three 12 week years. So these are some ideas and things that have really worked for me for my mindset and my daily routine. Like I just said, um, you guys, hold, I'm going to hold on one second. I'm so sorry. I got, ah. okay, short little break. I had to look, put my dog out. I have a border collie who is throwing the ball at my feet and won't stop. So she's out now. Anyway, um, so I use the 12 week year, highly, highly recommend as you're setting up your real estate business and doing all of this stuff that you read that book. It's a great book. So some of the mindset and daily things that I do that have changed just the way I live, I live in a different state of mind. I'm happy these days. I'm confident. I'm doing the work that I set my intentions to do. So these are just some ideas. Visualize your vision, like sit and really focus on what you want. Write it out. I'm going to share with you guys in the video down below. So this will be a YouTube video. There will be a link for a abundance plan that will help you work on your vision and what it is that you need to implement and really goes along with these four pillars. So that's just going to be a free bonus that I give you. So read. I have a huge library of books that I've read over the years because you don't know what you don't know. And when I was 
growing up, I didn't know anything other than I wanted a better life than the life I had had as a child. And so by reading books and stories and figuring out how other people made things work out, that really helped me meditate. I love guided meditations. I cannot just sit in silence and meditate, but guided meditations are amazing. Inspiring YouTube videos. Who are you following? If you're even on YouTube, but who are you following? Are you following people like Tony Robbins, um, uh, Brene Brown, like inspiring people? Or do you just get on there and read the doom and gloom or listen to the doom and gloom videos that are out there? Because those can put you in a a very bad negative state of mind and then you won't focus on doing anything because you're going to you're going to switch back over to survival mode and in survival mode you can't work on your goals because you can't be in two places at once you could either be producing and be abundant or you're in survival and you're negative and you're scarce and you're just running, running, running. So really focus on what you're feeding your mind every bit of the day. I love yoga. I love to walk. I do that every day. I figure out what my intentions are. Read and write those out. Uh, healthy lifestyle. Well, at least like 80% of the time, right? Because we all need a, a drink every now and then. And always have a coach. Like I know when I don't have a coach because I'm not being, I'm not on task and I'm not doing the right thing. So that's very important. All right. I'm going to try to keep this shorter today than I normally do. So we're going to jump right into pillar number two, which are foundations for your real estate business. So what, what are foundations? Foundations are the things that stay with you. It's like the, the bottom of where you start. It's the starting point. And I talk to agents all the time who don't have these simple foundations set up. If you're one of them, then now you don't have to be anymore. You can make sure that you go and you get your foundation set up. And those foundations are different for all of us. Like we're all going to have different ones. And um, I'm just going to dig right into them. You just got to sit down and really figure out what yours are going to be. So some of the foundations that I include are your logos and your colors. Like your branding is so important these days because so much of our living out loud lifestyle as real estate agents on social media, it you want it to look professional and you want it to be appealing and you want it to flow well. So when people open up your Instagram or they look at your photos on your business page or they scroll down, whatever, those all flow well and say, hey, this this girl like knows what she's doing, right? So social media sites, what social media sites are you are you perfecting? Do you know Facebook like inside out so that you could use it for your business? That is super important. So get to know your main social site and then you could just copy and paste on other social sites if you want to, but really get to know one. And the one that I think everybody should start out with because it does so much is Facebook. Okay, now this next one is so important. It is your CRM. What CRM are you using? And if you're not using any CRM, how are you running your business? I don't understand. Because you're going to go create these things and you have to have some kind of lead capture for these people that you're putting your information out there into the world you want them to, you want to offer some kind of a, a lead magnet to get them into your world so that you can follow up with them and give them information. So we have KV Core included with our, with our EXP plan. So KV Core is, is a must. Like it, I get in it every single day. Another one that I actually brought to EXP when I moved is my VIP database. I think that the VIP database is 
more important than KV Core because I take such good care of my past clients and I'm constantly doing things for them. I, it's the, my number one source of business is referrals or past clients because I take really good care of them. Okay, so this next two are really for newer agents or agents who feel like they just don't have the confidence in themselves that they need to be a good real estate agent. So take the time to sit and learn the basics of your realtor platforms, like your MLS, zip forms. Know how to do everything on your MLS. Know how to do a CMA. If you don't know, keep practicing. Keep doing and doing and doing until you're confident that you are able to sit down and it takes you less than an hour to do a CMA and know right where you want to price a house. So you really need to focus on doing that. And you do that by time blocking every day and making sure that you do what it is you're wanting to do within that time block that you do. EXP basics are things like the world, Sky Slope, um, EXP Enterprise, where we have all of our stuff. Like those are some of the EXP basics, workplace. If all of us should be opening Workplace every single day and going through and reading the updates because that's how our broker communicates with us. That's where our meetings are in the world or online uh, in YouTube. Like they have made it so easy for us, but so many agents still, and I'm guilty, don't go to like everything that they offer. And we really don't have to go to everything, but we should go to some of the things. The one thing that we should all be doing is our state meetings. So that's what I mean by all the basics. So those are just some of the foundations that I believe are the most important. So three, automations. So I am a systems girl. Like I'm all about systemize it, implement it, uh, automate it, and then delegate it. So I, these are just some of the automations that I have set up in my business that have been game changer. I love Google Chrome, Google Drive, just Google everything, Google My Business, all of that should be set up for every single realtor. Your buyer and seller presentations, y'all should be able to go onto your Google Drive, print out all of the documents that you want to go in your EXP folder right before a buyer or seller presentation. And it should be the same every single time. You, you could work on it and improve it, but have those documents, the listing presentation, the whatever documents. I have one called the process and that goes in every buyer folder and I sit there and go over it with the, like that's a whole class that I teach and, and it's in my eight week detailed um, version course, but you know, you, you can make your own, like, what do you, what do you want to be in your folder? Figure that out first, and then the buyers and sellers will come and you will have the information to educate them on this process. The closing spreadsheet, budget spreadsheet, the board spreadsheet. These are all, I have a whole system that I share in my, um, in my course that is called Business in a Box, and it is a Google Drive folder that I ha I share all of these, but you don't have to do that. Like you could just have create and write your own closing spreadsheet, your own budget spreadsheet, your own board. And I call it the board because it, it, it has all of our current transactions on it and we could see them. I can see them no matter where I'm at on my um, phone, on my tablet, on my computer, wherever I'm at, I could just pull that up really quick and know exactly what I have closing. I could go back five years and tell you exactly how much I closed in, in real estate that year. And I have all the clients' information on all of those spreadsheets. I started doing all of this back in around 2012, 13, when I got my first assistant, I started working on the systems. So you can do that too. All right, then now you got all this stuff set up, right? Your, your mindset's right. You have a schedule. You know what you want to implement. You know you want to get your KB Core set up. You know you want to work on your campaigns. That's another automation that's in KB Core. 
now you're ready for some lead generation funnels. And I want to talk about a funnel. I call it a funnel. Some agents call it lead generation time, but I think each funnel needs to have its own action item checklist from beginning to end. Like you need a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, quarterly plan for your VIP database. So I know in the fall, I'm going to be doing a client appreciation party. I know that I use send out cards and I send my everybody on my VIP list a card four times a year. I send one in for the happy new year. I send one in the spring. I send one for the summer and then I send one for the holidays. So, and, and I share with them in those cards what it is that my business is doing, what we have planned. Like that's just where I put everything. And I, I have about 200 people in that database. So I can't just, I try to call them all like once a year, but it's hard to stay in touch with all of those people. So you've got to still be in front of them. So what are you going to do? I, I do a lot more. I do a newsletter monthly. I do, I, I, I sponsor tables and I call my top 20 and invite them to things and things like that. So KB Core Marketing. KB Core has advertising in it built in so you could go use that to go create ads and then get them into your system. Um, EXP also has a thing that works with KB Core called Making It Rain. I don't know what the fee is for that, but if a lot of you are looking for leads, KB Core's uh, or the making it rain is a really good option to start out at a lesser amount. And then maybe once you get some closings, you go a little bit more expensive with it. Social media, definitely. So many people could just do their VIP database and social media and run their entire business because they're good at it. They're good at following up. They're good at relationships. And they're just, I could tell those agents right away who are going to be able to do that. Paid leads, Zillow, Realtor.com. I, I don't do them anymore and I, I'm not a big fan of it. But if you're not going to do the, the organic stuff, like you have to have leads coming into your business or you don't have a business. So you, you have to figure out funnels. You, as, a, as an agent, you should have five or six funnels out there working at all times for you to bring these leads in. But so many agents only do really, I mean, so many don't do anything. They just want the phone to ring and get business. But I'm telling you, you have to treat this like a business and you have to put these systems all together. And funnels is the most important part of it. But if you don't have all the other stuff set up and you create a funnel, you're just not going to work those leads because you don't have anything set up for them. So paid leads, referrals from realtors. I get a lot of those. So um, I've created a great relationship with realtors from across the country at eXp. And I, I work those referrals and let them know I use send out cards for my referrals too. Anytime I get one, I send a send out card. I send, I get their birthday. I send them a birthday card, different things. Um, just to give you an example of a couple more for sell by owners and expireds, farming. Farming is a good one. So with this being said, I am starting a new series in my group, Real Estate Untangled, starting in July. And I'm going to call it Funnel Friday. And inside of that group, we are going to have a special guest in who's going to go over what their funnel is and share it with us so that if that sounds like something that you could do, you could implement your own funnel from beginning to end. So I love that because there is enough business for all of us that want to do the business and do the work in the in real estate. So um, I love an abundant mindset where you want to help people and not hide things from people. So these are the people I'm going to be bringing in, ones that have funnels working for them and the leads are coming in so that you can get a lot more detail from this. But in the meantime, if you're not sure what you want your lead generation funnels to be, Gene Frederick has this book on 
101 ways to lead generate in real estate. So it's on Amazon. I think it's like $8. I, I've given mine all away. I at one point bought a case and gave them all away. Now I don't even have one. But I highly recommend this book because it will change your mindset on what it is you're supposed to be doing to get those leads. So once again, mindset, foundations, automations, and funnels. Those are the four pillars that no matter what you're doing in your real estate business, you're working in one of those areas. And if you just if you just know that, you can eliminate some of the um, some of the overwhelm, some of the confusion, because I get that there is a lot of information, but you have to do it. Like you have to set your business up like it's a business. Statistics show, NAR shows, I think it's even gone up since the last time I looked, but it was like 87% of people get their real estate license and quit within the first two years because their expectations of what we do as realtors is different than in reality than what they thought it was going to be. And this whole system here, my freedom to flourish through real estate is the reality of what you need to do to set up a thriving business. And it can be fun because you can create all of this stuff specific to your personality. And you can have the lead generation funnels running that are something you wake up and enjoy doing. Um, what If you're a big advocate of working your spear, there's a book called Perk Your Spear that I implemented a long time ago, and it was game changer. It's like really taking care of your VIP people. There are so many different things that you could do, but no matter what, if you can dream it, you can have the courage to take action and have discipline to stay on the right path, you will make it. Anybody could do this too. So I'm going to, I'm going to wrap this presentation up, but then Lori, did you want me to show them my group or cause that's where all of my stuff is. I'm going to send it out in a link with the, the video. This will be uploaded to YouTube okay. as well, you guys, and everything will be in the description. So if you want to get more help from Dawn, that will be there in the description. I really suggest you guys at least taking her, you know, course because she really does dive into helping you get these funnels and automation set up. And I'm in the process of moving that over. So let me just fi finish this up real quick. So if you can dream it, have the courage to take action and have discipline to stay on the right path, you will make it like anybody could do this. If I could do this, anyone can do this in my, the link that she's going to share with you. And I was going to open it real quick and just show you guys. I have a lot of free tools. I'm not a coach. I don't want to be a coach ever. I just I, I did create an eight week course that you can't even get right now, but it is really step by step through all of this stuff to help you get them set up. And when I have that ready, I'll be putting it in my group. So I have a private Facebook group called Real Estate Untangled. And all of these free things are in there. Every week I do a call. I My VIP database templates in there. And then the free listings to leads trial. But I think Lori has one. So I since do. you're with Lori, you reach out to her for that. We kind of do the same thing with a lot of this stuff. But um I do a weekly abundance plan call and I, I love that. So, and that's open to anybody. I just, that group real estate untangled, I have over a thousand agents in it. And I just want, my passion is really to help people see their potential and really get over all of the struggles and the hardships that we have in this business. So that's that's really it. So um, this is here's the group, and I'll let Lori share that link later. And um, when you get here, the free stuff is all in the featured. But like I said, don't use my listings to leads. Everything else you could use. It's just a link that you go open your own. 
And I think what we'll do is we'll probably do a listings deletes training coming up soon yeah. because you guys, they've added Google ads. They've got Facebook and Instagram. Um, there is also a new thing that they're allowing you to put your, basically for a hundred bucks, they'll do a lot of your marketing for you. I don't know if you've seen that, Don, but it's brand new. I haven't. And also. I've been working so feverishly on Go High Level. Oh, it's so good because now they're like helping agents to do this and their ads awesome. are the fastest you can ever create. I love them for lead generation, but also you can have your listing presentation, give it to them. They'll put it on your property sales websites that you're giving and creating for like Fizbo's, you know, you're doing it for your listings. Wow. They really just, it's, they've changed it and upgraded so much to keep up with what agents need. So don't go to Zillow. Don't go to realdark.com. Yeah. Use listings to lead you guys. It's all you need for marketing and for your leads. Does anybody have any questions for Don? We've got five minutes and then uh, we're going to wrap this up. What about video? We hear video is king. Yeah, I do video. I do video. Okay. Like that's part of my marketing plan. I literally, so I, create a weekly content calendar for myself and that day like on Tuesdays I work on uh, agent attraction videos and then on Thursdays and Fridays I go video out in the city and post it so I I I do it more so to send out in my newsletters I just got done doing this huge financial freedom series and I interviewed three people every month from January through I think July, July, June was my last month, and I I did it so that I could send them out in my uh, newsletters. And I I do a lot of TikToks, reels, all kinds of stuff. She schedules yeah, them, you guys. Core? She really does are schedule using, it. <laughs> are you using KV Core for your newsletter? Yes. Right now. Yeah. Check out her YouTube. It is downloading, isn't it? your yeah. YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. That's the one so. I have on. subscribed to. So I have her on notifications yeah. and I see all her videos that come up. So make sure you subscribe to her YouTube and then check the notifications box. And she's got great content. She's very good about putting it up channels. every week. I have my training channel and then I have, I just started a new channel. So I, my old channel I've had for so long, I couldn't figure out why my stuff was not getting optimized. And so I was told that it had been pigeonholed. So I literally just started a whole new YouTube channel. And so following a different coach that I'm using, but my uh, training YouTube has got lots of training videos in there. I have, that's all in there. That's, I don't know if it's, I think it's called Freedom to Flourish. I'll share the link with you, Lori. Yeah, yeah, put that on there and I'll add it as well. Okay, but, let me uh, go grab it really quick. So Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll just that. grab that and put it in the chat real quick because then you can follow those. And I help agents. And I even have, like, I interviewed the listings to leads guy in one of those videos. So that's in there too. So, yeah, you, I mean, YouTube is a beast. So if you're going to do that, you got to get a plan. I wouldn't even bother if you're not going to pay for a coach or do some kind of training with it because it's just so um there is a really good lot. channel to follow oh, called think media so if you guys are going to dive into youtube and you don't have a coach go to think media on youtube and they do an entire free uh courses and videos on how to actually get subscribers how to create your videos and what you need to do it's a wonderful free resource and that's what their main thing is is youtube like i said my, i feel like the mindset has to be first and that is where a lot of people fail mm -hmm. but that's okay because you could just start over and the other stuff comes it's so much harder to do all this other stuff when you're not feeling good mm -hmm. mentally and i've been there i know everyone i know has been there but the first step is figuring out why you're not doing the things that you know you should be doing Absolutely. Well, thank you, Don. It was a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for your time. Everybody else, thank you for attending and we will see you next month.